What's up everybody and welcome to another video in the lead code series. In this video we're going to be shuffling a string. So I have a problem open here on lead code. It's problem 1528 and it is in the easy section. And uh, let's read the prompt and see if we understand what we're supposed to do. So it says here, given a string S and an integer array indices of the same length, the string will be shuffled such that the character at the ith position moves to the index, to the indices in position i in the shuffled string. Return the shuffled string. So let me try to explain what is what the what we just read um, up there. So they're saying that you're going to be given a string, so this string is going to be any word, and you're going to be given um, an array or list of indices. And the task at hand is for you to shuffle this given string so that the corresponding character is a, in a string ace is at index um, i in the in the indexes list. So, for example. Uh, at the, uh, given this example one, you have this as a list of indices that are going to be given and then you have the, the string that is also going to be given. So what you have to do is to make sure that this character C is moved to index 4, this character O is moved to, the in to index 5, and D is moved to, the, to, to index 6, E to index 7, and so on and so forth. And then once you have all that in a new string, return that new string, and that's the answer. So as you can see here, um, index 0 is going to be L, so that's why L is moved to index 0. And C here, which is at index 0 initially, will be moved to index 4. So if you look at index 4 here, it is, it is now replaced by C. So these indices are just telling you where the characters are going to mo to move in the shuffled string. That's all. You have a string and then you're creating a new string, but this string, um, the way the characters are going to be arranged is dictated by the array of indices. And that's all you have to do and return the shuffled string. So the examples here, S is, S is this word here, and then the indices are these, and the output is this because as you can see here C is at index 4 so they are saying move it to index 4 and it has been moved to index 4 and the same applies for the rest of the letters and once you move every character to a new index that is dictated by the indices list you return the new string which has been shuffled and that's the output so the examples here you can go ahead and look at them i'm going to share the link to the problem in the description but at this point i think we can jump into the code so i have this code written in c plus but i also solved the problem in python so i'm going to be sharing the link to both um, code snippets but i would strongly advise that you try to do the problem yourself and once you're stuck maybe you can look at the code to get an idea all right, so we see that we have a function that returns a string. So this is going to be the shuffled string, and it's called restore a string, and um, it's taking it's taking in a string s, and um, the the vector of indices. Okay, so the first thing we do is create a shuffled string s, and we want it to be the same length as the original string. Right, and after that, we're going to loop um, over the indices list or the indices vector, and we're going to set the shuffled string at the index in the indices list. So we go into the indices list, we get a particular index at position i. So that would be, for example, if we had to look at this indices in position i at this point when i is 0 would be 4 for this example and we're going to set that to 
s in position i so we are setting that to be the character in position 0 and the character in position 0 is c so we are doing this here the shuffling where we're moving the character to its new index and we continue doing that until each character has been moved to a new index so we we subs we we, we index the indices list at a given position i which is going to be changing and then we put that in the shuffled string with the corresponding character and once we've done that we now have a shuffled string and we can return it and if you run the code I've already tested this so I know it works but for you you have to run and see if your solution that you come up with works so as you can see it runs in 4 milliseconds and says here that it's 95 it is faster than 95.2 percent of C++ online um, submissions okay so that's the that's the solution in C++ and now let's move to Python so in Python we could write exactly the same function and in the same way except uh, for Python you see how we did this here and we assigned um, a, str a character to a string in specific index this is not possible in Python you cannot assign a string object um, you cannot assign a character to a string object you can only index it but you cannot assign a character to a specific index in the string so because of that limitation um, I decided that we will first convert the given string into a list this is list not so we convert it into a string so I have a string called string list and I'm indexing I'm going through the, the string s and getting a character at a time and putting it in this list so at the end of the day we are going to end up with a, a list of characters maybe a B. so if s for example if s was the string boy this list is going to have b o and y so that's what we're going to end up with so we still have the string but now it has been converted into a list all right so then the next thing we do is we loop through the the, the character uh, rather the string the given string s and the in the, the list of indices and we get a single character and a single index but remember these are corresponding and we basically set the list at that particular index to the corresponding character so we are setting this list that we just created up here and we are basically doing the shuffling um, in the list so where a specific character is uh, this character we move it to the index which um, is provided so we are doing this here we are saying okay at, at this here at index 4 for example set it to character C for example and that's what is happening so after this loop executes this loop we are going to have a shuffled list of characters which we want except we don't want characters we want a string so we need to convert that list back to a string and then return it and so for that I have created a shuffled string here and it's initially um, an empty string and now I'm looping through the list and getting a character at a time and then I'm appending that character to the shuffled string and I'm returning the shuffled string so let me uh, run this and this also works and you submit to see and it works except in Python it's a little slower as compared to C++ but it says it's uh, faster than 31.45% of Python online submissions so 
yeah, that's the solution in C++ and Python. So I'm gonna link the the, the code in the description, and I'm gonna I'm gonna also link the problem so that you can try it on on your own in your free time. So thank you guys for watching. If you like the video, please like it, share it with friends, and leave a comment um, suggesting what I would work on next. And I don't know why I am writing this wrong here. If you know why, leave a comment telling me. And that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one.